Hey guys, Tech Mitchell with the video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to turn off this SOS only that may be appearing on your iPhone and you may not be getting cellular service on your iPhone. So how can you fix this? Well, let's get started. So the very first thing you want to do if you're having this issue is put your phone on airplane mode briefly from the control menu here. So just pull down the control menu just like I did from the top. Put it in airplane mode and then turn it back off. You can also do this from the setting as well. Just go into setting, go to airplane mode right here. You can turn it on and off and that does a quick network refresh and it will search for the network. Now the next thing you want to do if you're having the issue is go into your setting of your iPhone. This time you're going to click on cellular and then you're going to turn off cellular data briefly and then turn it back on. And now if you see this, turn this line on, turn it off and then go ahead and turn it back on as well and that does a quick eSIM refresh. Now if you have a phone with a physical SIM card like this one, like one of these older phones that have a physical SIM card. You want to take the SIM card out and then put it back in. Usually you have a SIM ejector tool or if you take a paper clip, basically put it in the hole. Just pop the SIM card out just for a second and then put it back in and that will reinitialize the SIM card as well to for the physical SIM. But if you have an eSIM, just simply toggle this line on and off as well. Now, the next thing you want to do is force restart your iPhone. Now, in order to do a force restart, going to press and release the volume up, press and release the volume down, and then finally hold the side button until the screen goes completely black. Once you see the Apple logo up here, let go of that button. So in real time, volume up, volume down, and then you hold and press that side button just like I am. Make sure you press volume up and down quickly and then continue to hold that side button until the screen goes black. As you can see, it went black. And once you see the Apple logo appear, you let go of that button. That's known as a forced restart which shuts down the phone completely and reloads the code. So if it's a software related issue impacting your iPhone, it will fix those issue for you. Now this method will not delete any of your personal data. So all of your photos, videos, apps will be safe on your phone. Go ahead and enter your passcode and get back to your iPhone. Now the next thing to check if there's a carrier update for your phone. In order to do that, go into your setting of your iPhone. This time we're gonna go to general and then about. And in this page, you wanna wait about somewhere between 30 seconds to a minute. There might be a pop-up that comes up if there is a carrier update that your carrier is pushed out. In that case, you can click on update. Now, if you waited about 30 seconds to maybe up to a minute and it doesn't pop up, that means there's no carrier update. You can move on to the next troubleshooting step if you're still having the issue with the SOS only. The next thing to do with your iPhone is to go ahead and do a network reset. Now, in order to do a network reset, we're gonna go from the main setting go to general and then go all the way down here where it says transfer reset iPhone and then we'll click on the first option for reset and we'll do a network reset. Now a network reset will remove things like saved Wi-Fi password and any Bluetooth connected devices which you'll have to reconnect but this method is safe it will not delete any of your actual personal data like photos, videos, apps, documents and such so you can do that and once you do that you'll enter your passcode and before you click on it it will tell you that it's going to go ahead and remove those network related settings but a very important step to do if you're having that SOS only and you need to turn that off and fix it. Now after doing that if you're still having an issue next thing to do is to see if you can update your phone if there's an update available go into your setting of your iPhone go to general software update if there's an update available it will show up you'll just click on update now give yourself about half an hour to 45 minutes when you're doing this update and make sure your phone is at least 50% or more charged connected to a good strong Wi-Fi if you're of course your cellular data won't work for this update so that you'll need that as well lastly if all of these steps do not work there could potentially be an outage to your phone carrier services at the moment in that case you can contact your carrier see if there is an outage or you might find out there's an outage going on in that scenario most of the time uh, your carrier will be working on fixing that so you'll have to wait it out and the other thing to also consider if you're in an area where the coverage is bad for your phone service, it might be SOS only. So you try considering moving to a different location, see if that will automatically turn off and go away. So I hope this video was helpful. If so, please make sure to like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching, guys. See you guys next time.